Well, welcome back to Core TV Live. We are following new developments in the case of the hip hop mogul who is facing RICO charges in New York. Sean P. Diddy Combs. Core TV has just confirmed that the family of Tupac Shakur is investigating a potential link between the murder of Tupac and Sean Diddy Combs. This coming from attorney Alex Spiro, who represents Tupac's family. Now, this investigation had been previously reported by unnamed sources, but earlier today, Spiro confirmed to our Court TV team that he and a team of investigators has been hired. Sean Combs allegedly had business dealings with Dwayne Keefe D. Davis who will go on trial next March for the murder of Tupac. This was back in 1996. Some have speculated that Diddy ordered Tupac's death. That, of course, is just a theory at this point, and we are monitoring the developments in both the Tupac murder trial and the federal indictment of Sean Diddy Combs. So a lot of information to come on that one. Mm -hmm. And the case that continues to roll on, let's bring in National Trial Attorney Michael J. for just to talk about this new news of an investigative team that is been hired by Tupac's family. Uh, we don't have more details about what they found so far and exactly what avenues they are taking to do that, but what does that say to you? What do you think is happening and how serious is this when someone hires an investigative team in a murder trial that's being handled by authorities, but this is a private entity requesting this? Julia, I always say landslides don't happen slowly, right? You'll be standing on the side of a mountain admiring its beauty and, and glamour. And then one second later, you're buried in mud, right? This does not shock me. This does not surprise me. I can promise you this is not the last thing that we find out about people investigating uh, Diddy and what he's done. This is not the first. We know of an attorney now who represents uh, hundreds of families who are suing him <laughs> for, you know, alleged, you know, freak offs and uh, sexual misconduct. So what this tells me is that it's just a piling on. Pretty much every, people knew for decades what we're going to start finding out things that people have speculated on for decades and they're just going to pile on because at the end of the day how's he going to defend himself at this point he's got a ton of money he's got a ton of attorneys but even if you have unlimited money and unlimited resources if you are sued you know by you know a hundred different people a hundred different times a hundred different theories at the end of the day you as a professional defendant operating from a jail cell you cannot overcome that you just can't do it and people know that they can pile on people who probably wanted to go after this guy just feared going after him because they feared the retribution they feared that you know they walk into an attorney's office hey i have this theory against uh, diddy and the attorney would tell him, okay do you have a million dollars to pay me for me to waste my time waste your money and go after him no i don't can you do it on contingency no i won't do it on contingency because if i do it on contingency he's going to spend millions of dollars to crush us right so that's exactly why these theories have been rebuffed. Right now, people now have, any attorney will jump up and say, yeah, I'll, I'll represent you, I'll sue Diddy, I'll be on the headlines, I'll sue Diddy for you tomorrow. Right, yeah, I'll do it on contingency. At the end of the day, that's what's happening. You're gonna see many, many more instances of people coming up with theories against Diddy. With respect to this specific one, you know, as a kid growing up, I loved Tupac, you know, and there was, you know, when we were in high school and Tupac died, everybody said, hey, Diddy did it, right? And it was kind of like, back then it was Puff Daddy, right? So a lot of people say that. I don't know if, if you know, the, 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 you know, what the quality of this type of theory is, but, you know, hey, I'm gonna be interested, I'm gonna be glued to the TV to see what happened, the, you know, the connection between Diddy and Keefe D. Let's see, but at the end of the day, that's, that's what's happening, it's a piling on. Yeah, I mean, back in July, I think there was a report that Sean Diddy Combs had said, you know, any kind of connection here, this this theory is absolutely ridiculous, absolutely false. So we'll have to see what comes of this. But I believe we have some sound we can play, Michael, and then we're going to get your reaction to it on the other side. So it's Harrell, you, Puffy, Zip, and a bunch of Southsiders. And, and what Puffy makes kind of a, an announcement. Yeah, that was, that was stupid as hell, too, you know. What did you actually hear? What was the words? If, if the best you can remember what he says. He said he would give us anything for those dudes there, you know? Give us five names of people who would say, yeah, we heard Puffy say that. You don't have to come from they don't Al, Corey, Wynn, Corey, uh, Rock. Now this was before the arrest of Diddy, Michael. But what do you what do you take from that? I mean, it's just everything as you just mentioned. It just keeps piling on. 
Yeah, with this specific one, I'm very familiar with this exact case with this person. What you heard here is not was not credible, right? Even if it's true, it's just not credible. It's too old, it's too stale, it's not credible. What happens in, in that life is people will talk and talk, and this Keefe D has proven himself to be the type of person who wants attention and talks a lot. And how do you get attention? The way you bring attention if you're this type of a, a, a person is you bring up the names of people who are much bigger than you. They say you punch up, you don't punch down. He's not going to get attention if he says, hey, my friend here, my neighbor was a person who was behind uh, you know, him and these are the five people that helped me kill uh, Diddy. No, uh, to kill Tupac. No, he'll say Diddy did it, you know, uh, all these other people. So at the end of the day, it's just not credible. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. People have hunted down the cause of the, the death of Tupac and now they've focused on this Keefe D guy. But I don't think other people are going to be brought into it. I just think it's... Bottle. All right, Michael, thank you so much.